Mega Ben and Trekkie Tributes and Inklings. For those of you who do not know me, my name is CPR and this is Phantasmify, a place where I talk about all things sci-fi, fantasy, and life, all within my Christian perspective. So before we begin, could you do me a big favor and hit the subscribe button, that's the little red box down below, and hit the bell that come, pops up right next to you when it, you push subscribe. So that would tell you every time I put new videos. Also, if you give this a thumbs up, that tells me that you like the video and that um, you want to see me do more. Another thing you can do is share this with people, especially if um, today I'm doing um, things to look for, four things to look for in a college. So if you know any prospective students that are looking at colleges right now, just share that with, share this video with them and that will be a big help. Also, if you are a prospective student and you have friends who are, who are like looking into this, share that with them, share this with them. Be like, hey, I really like this or I found this interesting. Here, here you go. So, let us get into the video now. And like I said, today I will be talking about um, four things to look for in a college. I'm currently sitting in um, CW University's Dixon Ministry Center, so I'll scan the crowd. We look at all those people. So today, we are having what is called CU Friday, CW University Friday, where we have prospective college students, they're high school students, they're sophomores, juniors, seniors, I think we might have some freshmen, I don't think we have as many freshmen come, but they come just to check out our college, and see if they like it and come to some of the classes. And it's a really, really great opportunity. I came to it once before coming here and it's really super great. Um, now something that every one of them can look for in colleges and possibly why they came to Cedarville to look for stuff is um, the first one that I personally, this was one of my things that I looked for when I was in a college looking at for colleges so I would say look for a place that has chapel every day especially if you're a Christian if you're a Christian if you're a Christian and you're like oh okay it doesn't matter if we have chapel every day I don't care or like don't look for it then like if you really could care less or if you're not a Christian I mean I'd still say come to a place that has chapel every day you'll you might find it interesting, and um, but if you if you don't care for that, you can just skip this part. But I know for me as a Christian, I wanted a place where I could be in like really super good fellowship and worship to God every single day with fellow believers. So look for that. That's the first one. The second one would be a place that has really good academics. Now I guess this should be the first one. But I find um, my priorities are mostly with chapel. That was the thing I looked for in a college. One reason why I came to Cedarville is because they have chapel every day. And a little, little shameless plug there. <laughs> and um, this is not sponsored by them also, just to let you guys know. Um, but anyway, next thing is um, academic, like really good academics. And especially, for that in your major. Um, obviously, the, the, my third point would probably be choose something that has your major. And if you're undecided, choose something that has a wide range of majors. That way, once you do decide, you can be like, I know what to, I don't have to change colleges and I don't have to spend all that time transferring and everything. So do that. And then, um, yeah, fine. Some, a place that has really good academics, especially in your major. Fourthly, my last point would be don't, it's not really a, something you should do or should look for, it's something you shouldn't do. And it's don't just go to a college that your parents went to just because they went there. Um, pray about it. I went to, I'm going to Cedarville, but my dad went to Cedarville. That is not why I'm going to Cedarville. I prayed about it asked God about it. I went to the top three colleges on my list, which were Bob Jones University, Pensacola Christian College, and Cedarville, and 
I just like to see the field the best. And it had my major. So, don't just go to a college just because it's your mom or dad's alma mater. I know the pressure is insanely real for children who have parents that are like really passionate about their alma mater. But that shouldn't be your deciding vote. Um, just pray to God, ask him, hey, what do you want to do? What do you want me to do? Now he's not, of course, he's not going to be like, this is what you need to do. And like, tell you audibly. But, I mean, just listen and feel where he's leading. And if you feel like he's not leading you to your parents' alma mater, then don't be, don't be feeling like so broken or downhearted whenever they're disappointed, okay? They're going to be disappointed. Or if they aren't, that they probably really weren't overly passionate about their alma mater. If they're passionate about it, they're going to be disappointed. It's just a fact of life. There, there are some things that disappointment is inevitable. And oftentimes, God knows what's better for us. There have been so many times when I've been disappointed by things. But I just have to accept that. And God has found so many different things that have been better for me than the disappointing thing. So, just trust where God's leading and just go where He's leading. And I'm pretty sure that is all of my points. Comment down below anything you look for in a college, or if you found this interesting, or if you have any questions. And I will see you guys later. As always, guys, may the force be with you. Live long and prosper. And I'm